hello guys and welcome to this new Python tutorial today we are going to talk about the object oriented programming in Python as you know everything in Python is an object so understanding the concept of the object oriented programming is very important to be good in programming in Python to start we have a definition of the object ori oriented programming which is a programming paradigm that uses objects and classes in programming. We have a class versus object. A class is a design or a template for objects which defines the attributes and the methods. Whereas the object is an instance of a class that is defined using these attributes and has the access to use these methods. As you can see here from this picture, we have a design of a car, which is the blueprint. And once this design is validated from, for example, the managers or the designers of the company, and it is allowed to be commercialized, then the company will produce the, the cars, which are considered as objects from this class. So here our object is Audi, Nissan, Volvo, for example, these are famous brands of cars all over the world and they are instances of the class which is a car. And then of course, each object will have its characteristics and the things that distinguish between this category and the other one. Attributes and methods. The attribute is a variable stored in an instance or class. Whereas a method is a function stored in an instance or a class. We have three types of methods. We have static method, class method, and instance method. As you can see here, for the static and the class, they depend on the class by itself. Whereas the instance method depends on the objects. Instance method has self as the first argument. Class method has CLS as its first argument. Static method has no arguments that have to be as input. So it is optional. We have two types of variables. We have class variables and instance variables. Class variable is defined inside the class and outside the instance method. Instance variable is defined inside the instance method. The constructor. A constructor is used when the class object is created to initialize the members of the class. In Python, the init method is called a constructor and is always called when an object is created. Types of constructors. There exist two types of constructors in Python. Default and parameterized. Default is defined with no parameters. We only put the self as the only argument. For example, we define init the self and we set our value to 10. Parameterize is with self as the first argument plus other arguments. For example, we define our init function or constructor with the self arg1 and arg2. And we use the self.arg1 to set the value of arg1 and self or argument 2 to equals to the argument number 2. The self is used to represent the instance of the class. By using the self keyword, we can access the attributes and methods of the class in Python. Inheritance. Inheritance is the capability of one class to derive or inherit the properties from another class. Parent class or base class is the class being inherited from. Child class or derived class is the class that inherits from another class. So, to understand more classes and the object-oriented programming in Python, we are going to define some classes and objects so that you will understand more classes. So to define a class, we write the class keyword, and we define, for example, a car class. Okay, so write class car, press enter, we define our constructor, constructor. so we define our constructor, in it, and we write the self. Okay, for example, we want to define our car by the model, and the Okay, so we we'll write self dot year equals to year, 
and self dot model equals to model so here we have defined our car class which is defined by two parameters the model and the to create an object right for example my car equals to car if we just write car without arguments we have an error in it missing two required positional arguments the model and the so we have to enter exactly as the same order so write for example Audi and for example 2020 okay so here we have defined our class which is called car and our object which is called my car okay to access for example the elements of our car we write my car dot for example model we have Audi my car dot year we have 2020 okay so we call this the constructor okay now if you want to define an instance method we we'll write we we'll copy that okay for example define for example we we'll define a function we we'll call it diff get model and as we have said for the instance method self has to be this first argument okay so we write def get model self return self dot model okay or we can add another one for example def get here word self return oops sorry and we write here return self dot we said the year okay so this is called instance method and this also is called instance method right since it has self as its first argument so it will have the access to the properties of the class and the object by itself okay so for example we define the same car here my car okay so for right my my car dot get model will have the model for right my car dot get year will have the year okay so the instance method have the access to the properties of our object okay whereas the static and the class methods that we are going to define they do not have the access to the object properties they only deal with the class by itself okay for example to define static method so we copy that so we copy that all right and to define a static method as we have said it can contain arguments optional arguments or we can define it without any parameters for example we start by static method right static method right so we write def for example information and for so we can write information we print this is for example a class to define a car okay if we run that we define our object okay and if we write my car dot information 
will have this is a class to define a car so this is a static method it does not contain does not require any argument like for example the self argument okay we can also define a static another static method with our optional parameter okay so we write add static method we define for example we want to know if our car is a sport car or not a sport car so we write is for example sport car okay and we are going to define parameter for example as max speed so if max speed is greater for example than 240 return true okay else return false okay for example so we have defined our car and we write my car for example dot is sport car and we write for example 100 so it is false but for example if we write my car does is sport car and we get for example 300 so we'll have two okay so this is a static method that contains one option one argument here it is not optional okay so if we write this for example my car okay without argument it will say to you that is sport car missing one required positional argument okay so if we define it here by an argument you have call it you have to call it with an argument if we define it here without any arguments so it will directly give you the output without any required arguments okay so now if we want to define the third type uh, from the methods which is the class method okay so for example we define our class and we want to know if our brand is from the best German brands okay and we have said that always the CLS which is class is the first parameter so to do so we are going to define for we are going to define a class variable okay but we are going to, we are going to call it so we call it top for example five German uh, brands for example car brands car brands okay and we are going to define a list for example we are going to write well Volkswagen for example okay we are going to write Mercedes Benz for example Mercedes Benz we are going to write for example uh, Audi right BMW and for example Porsche right so here we call this class variable okay and we want to know if our model is from the top five German car brands so to do so we add here another parameter which is model okay so we say if our model in so we are going to access our class variable using the cls dot so we are going to copy that so it is a list so if model is in our list so we print the model for example is in top five German brands okay for example else we print or we return 
false or we'll print directly okay it, it is not else we print the model is not in for example top five German brands okay for example okay so for that define our uh, car right so here right here okay and for example if you want to write uh, for example my car dot so we have here best German friends and we write for example here dodge right dodge so we have the model is not in top five German brands whereas if we write my car for example BMW so we have the model is in top five German brands so here the class method has CLS as its first argument and it only deals with the class so it does not have the access to the properties of the objects okay which is going to be useful if we want if you want to deal with the class methods okay so we have three three types of methods we have the instance we have the static and we have the class method okay so this is all for this video i hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in the next one